Hello everyone, this will be a video of the Gentex SSPK 24WLPW. Well, it's made by Gentex. It's a cool looking speaker strobe too. You got this cool little grill design, this cool little strobe design. What's not to love about this thing? Well, one interesting thing is you take a look at the strobe design here. The lens design rather, I think that's what it's called. That, it's actually related to this. In this case, it's the Commander 3. As you can see, there's the same design on the side for uh, magnification purposes, I think, of the strobe output. There's the front, same reflector design. And let's take a look at the other side. Same curved inside reflector design. Now, like the... Uh, Commander 3, it has 15 candela, 30 candela, 60 candela, as you can see in there, 75 candela, and 110 candela. Now, how do you change this? Well, I'm going to show you a little bit later, but first, let's take a look at some of the other stuff on the back. As you can see, there's the wattage tap. In this case, I think it's 1 volt. 1 watt rather on 70 volts and on 25 volts it's half watt. There's a neat little guide down here. Well this is more uh, the uh, decibels thing. There's your terminals there. There's a data tag if you want to say that. There's some screws built in. They're removable though. Now this little hole down here is how you adjust the candela. What you have to do is get a screwdriver, flathead, and just stick it in there. So I'm going to try my best to demonstrate this to you. I don't know if you, you'd be able to see anything. But anyways, I'm the screwdriver's in the hole. I'm going to slowly try to poke it. Uh, this is sort of a pain, but not my favorite design. As you can see, it's on 60 candela. Now if I wanted to set it back to 75 candela, I just do that. And now, now that's just one candela selection. To go all the way from 110 candela to 30 candela or something like that, it would probably take a while. So, there you go. That's the overview of the SSPK 24WLP. W. Now let's test. All right, let's test the strobe of the device. In five, four, three, two, one. Mind you, this is on 75 candela. Test the lights off. Why did I say test there? Bring the lights back on. And there you go. Now I'm going to jump ahead a little bit. I'm going to actually get to test the speaker before I do a pull station demo. So let's first start off with a Firelight Voicey Back message. I think that's what it is. I can't seem to get it straight. So let's play it. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? The signal you have just heard indicates a report of a fire in this building. Please proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. Do not re-enter the building unless directed to do so by the proper authorities. Next, a silent night message. 
Attention please, there has been a report of an emergency. Proceed calmly to the nearest exit and leave the building immediately. Do not use the elevators. Use stairwells where necessary. All handicapped occupants shall use the building evacuation plan. And let's test the simplex voice evac message. The all glorious simplex voice evac test message. Well, what's a fire alarm speaker strobe video without that specific message. I'm not sure why, but everybody seems to do it. So I'm gonna do it now. Three, two, one. That's it for now. Now I'm going to do something a little bit different with the pull station here. I'm actually going to have the speaker and the strobe go at the same time. Something I should have thought of, well, a while ago. Let's just leave it at that. Anyways, let's suppose there's a firelight system, some kind of conventional firelight system, or maybe a small addressable firelight system with voice evac capabilities. The pull stations they got are BG-12s. Imagine any BG-12. I just got the regular BG-12 with the hex lock here. And they got these for the speakers. So, let's simulate an activation of the said system. So, here we go. Three, two, one. Push in and pull down. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? The signal you have just heard indicates a report of a fire in this building. Please proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. Do not re-enter the building unless directed to do so by the proper authorities. May I have your attention, please? I'm just going to do something. May I have your attention, please? The signal you have just heard indicates a report of a fire in this building. Please pro Let's just simulate the fact there some time has passed and it's time to reset the system. Let's insert the key. Hex wrench rather. I don't know why I just said key. Now the strobe would keep flashing until the panels actually reset, but I have sort of this cheesy setup here. And everything would be back to normal. So that was my first attempt at sort of a different twist with the fire alarm video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you for watching. That'll be it.